see this bun hate it when my hair is in this bun Ugh, look at my hair today it's so Ugh. What happened? Da, da, da. What happened? Da, da. Da, da. You can say bye before you have a nap. Bye. You can say bye. <laughs> okay. Da. Let's go to sleep. I need to sort this hair out. Anyway. Ready? For. It really be like this, guys. I feel like Jason Momoa right now. I feel like, I feel like Maui. Like I'm looking at myself and I just like, what can I say except you? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna go and. <laughs> I, I dead set feel like Maui right now. It's like frustrating that I feel like I need to curl it, but that's just how I've grown up. Like, obviously I can, I have like products to make this look better, like not look like this, but you know, growing up, I was just always told that my big curly hair was untidy. And so that's why I'm just used to straightening it because I just told it wasn't good. And, and actually, now that I think about it, like while I was pregnant, I always used to think, oh, you know, what kind of hair will Juno have? Will she have my hair? Will she have Sam's hair? And I thought, well, if she has my hair, I'm just gonna, you know, make sure I embrace it with her so that she doesn't feel like she needs to change it all the time to, to look a certain way or to feel like, or, you know. So I was like mentally preparing myself to be there. But I don't know, like, it's so silly that like, I even have to think of this, but it seriously, it's it is it's, it's a thing like my hair is something uh, I don't even know where to start with that But I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about I mean, I still don't know what Juno's hair is gonna be like it's it's straight But I can see it being a, li a bit like mine sometimes like a bit frizzy and I don't know So we'll see how her hair turns out. But anyway, I need to go sort this out <laughs> Okay, all done. My hair is straightened. <sighs> oh my gosh. The amount of hair I've lost because of having a baby is nuts. So this is my hair now. I was like looking, like it's just, I have so much short hair around. My hair's just fallen out. And this, this isn't even straight. This is the amount of hair I have, right? I guess maybe to some of you, you'd think that that is thick, but when I used to braid my hair, this is how thick one braid was. And now it's halved. Great, oh my gosh. If I have another kid, I'm gonna have no more hair. But anyway, that, I'm so bored. Like mum life just gets so repetitive. You do the same thing every day, the same times. Power to stay at home mums because I don't know how you do this. It's so, <laughs> I can't not, oh, it's just nuts. I'm like, I'm so grateful I do vlogging because it just gives me something to do. And I feel like I have like this sense of identity while I've been home all the time. Like other, like a sense of identity other than just being a mum. I would have gone crazy if I wasn't vlogging. I, I honestly, cause this is just crazy. Basically just waiting for Juno to wake up so that I can give her some lunch. All right. Let's continue with the same different day. <laughs> okay, so Juno has just woken up and I just remembered that we had bubbles. So I'm just gonna, I've been playing. I've actually just been playing with the bubbles with her for a while now. It's so cute. Juno, bubbles? 
Alright, I've just made her lunch really simple crumpets peanut butter. I actually just squash this with my fingers so that she doesn't choke on it and some cheese. There you go, and here's your water. It's 5.20. Juno is just currently eating her dinner. This afternoon, I didn't even do anything because I am so drained and tired that when Juno went for her second nap, I also went to sleep. I'm still so tired. I can't wait for bed. Can't wait for bedtime, but I need to edit a vlog first before I go to bed. I am getting quicker at it now. I cannot wait for bed.